I'm Tanya Lokshana, and I'll be reading from Man's Revenge, published in Novaya Gazeta on the 18th of October, 2007. Chechen women won their war and were immediately told to hide their faces. On the eve of the month of Ramadan, while announcing the upcoming fast, Chechen president Ramzan Kadyrov proclaimed that all women working in state institutions would now be required to wear headscarves. Men were not required to do anything differently, even though, according to Islam and Chechen tradition, appearing in public with an uncovered head is just as impermissible for them as it is for women. Some women have not taken this new ruling seriously. This is not the first time that they heard their wish being expressed. One disobedient woman in particular, a university teacher, appeared for her lectures with an uncovered head. They would not let her enter the building of the university, and she had to call her husband quickly and ask him to bring her a headscarf. That's how it goes. In another Russia's Republic, Tatarstan, women are fighting for the right to wear a scarf. But in Chechnya, those who don't want to wear it are being fought. It is a strange thing. As soon as the men in Chechnya start talking about independence for themselves, they also immediately demand that women put on scarves. This is how it was back in 1991 before the so-called revolution and again between 1997 and 1999. Ultimately, this is a bad sign. A year and a half ago, Ramzan Kadyrov, then still prime minister, also announced the benefit of scarves and the harmful influence of cell phones on young girls' morale. He handed out $1,000 each to a few exemplary young women. One, one of them refused to accept the gift and explained that she wore the scarf, not because someone required her to do so, but because she herself liked it. During the war years, while the men were killing and destroying, women were bearing children, drawing water, and baking bread. Despite all the obstacles, they found work to support their families, supplied their blockaded villages with food, and rushed to the rescue when their men were detained during sweeps. Often, women also took pity on Russian soldiers, who they felt were as much victims of the war as they were. After the war, Chechen men realized that the woman's role in society had grown. Now, they're taking revenge by demanding a return to tradition in the form of a headscarf. According to Caucasian traditions, only a close relative, father, husband, or brother, can order a woman to do or not to do something. But now it seems that all of Chechnya's men have ceded their right to one Ramzan Kadyrov. It is proper, after all, a female friend of mine, a deputy minister in Chechnya says, even though I don't like wearing a hat scarf, it's time to do it. We sin so much, and the prophet taught us to cover our head. I thought, if only all the other teachings of the Quran were followed so unanimously today. The month of Ramadan is over. Permission to remove headscarves has not followed. The hair of young women television announcers is still tucked under kerchiefs. Mm -hmm.